your words will disappear. Your house will disappear. Your name will disappear. All memory of you will disappear. Hold up! Hold up! He gonna get this work! He gonna get this work, man! Hold up! I see what he can go through when the father don't take the side. Pope Paul III, Papal Bull, Sublimus Day, May 29th, 1537. To all faithful Christians to whom this writing may come, health in Christ our Lord and the apostolic benediction. The sublime God so loved the human race that he created man in such wise that he might participate not only in the good that other creatures enjoy, but endowed him with capacity to attain to the inaccessible an invisible supreme good and behold it face to face and since man according to the testimony of the sacred scriptures has been created to enjoy eternal life and happiness which none may obtain save through faith in our lord jesus christ it is necessary that he should possess the nature and faculties enabling him to receive that faith and that whoever is thus endowed should be capable of receiving that same faith nor is it credible that anyone should possess so little understanding as to desire the faith and yet be destitute of the most necessary faculty to enable him to receive it. Hence Christ, who is the truth itself that has never failed and can never fail, said to the preachers of the faith whom he chose for that office, Go ye and teach all nations. He said all, without exception, for all are capable of receiving the doctrines of the faith. The enemy of the human race who opposes all good deeds in order to bring men to destruction, beholding and envying this, invented a means never before heard of by which he might hinder the preaching of God's word of salvation to the people. He inspired his satellites who, to please him, have not hesitated to publish abroad that the Indians of the West and the South and other people of whom we have recent knowledge should be treated as dumb brutes created for our service, pretending that they are incapable of receiving the Catholic faith. We who, though unworthy, exercise on earth the power of our Lord and seek with all our might to bring those sheep of his flock who are outside into the fold committed to our charge, consider, however, that the Indians are truly men and that they are not only capable of understanding the Catholic faith, but according to our information, they desire exceedingly to receive it. Desiring to provide ample remedy for these evils, we define and declare by these our letters or by any translation thereof, signed by any notary public and sealed with the seal of any ecclesiastical dignitary to which the same credit shall be given as to the originals, notwithstanding whatever may have been or may be said to the contrary. The said Indians and all other people who may later be discovered by Christians are by no means to be deprived of their liberty or their possession of their property, even though they may be outside the faith of Jesus Christ, and that they may and should freely and legitimately enjoy their liberty and the possession of their property, nor should they be in any way enslaved. Should the contrary happen, it shall be null and have no effect. By virtue of our apostolic authority, we define and declare by these present letters or by any translation thereof, signed by any notary public and sealed with the seal of any ecclesiastical dignitary, which shall thus command the same obedience as the originals that the said Indians and other peoples should be converted to the faith of Jesus Christ by preaching the word of God and by the example of good and holy living. 